Well, on center. So now we'll start hollowing it out. <laughs> And this is the same cutter that we've been using all day long. I've talked a little bit today about a few customers. Talked a little bit today to a few customers about on each tool you have a roughing cutter and a finishing cutter. That means if I'm using this tool to do all the roughing work or the mass material removal, I have one cutter that I use for that and then I'll take it off and set it aside and I've got a spur cutter that I just used for the last few cuts and then I set it back aside. That way that cutter, for most turning, it probably will last you at least a year for most, the amount of turning most people do, that finishing cutter. Now the roughing cutter, if it gets a little bit dull, I don't care because I've got another cutter to do the last cut with. And you notice in one position, I'm able to cut the inside, the face, and the outside of the workpiece. And I can do that in either, either direction, from center out or from outside in. Really, if I was going to do very many of these goblets, it would make a lot of sense to put a, a forstner bit in a drill chuck and get rid of some of that material. That, that would make a lot of sense. when I'm going through a small hole that's not a real small hole but the, the curvature of that inlet to that goblet the place right out here is going to want to rub on the corner of the tool here I've got two choices I can raise the tool above center and that allows see how we got all that clearance on the bottom of the tool now Let's look at this corner right here, rather. I can raise the tool rest just a little bit to give me an advantage, or it's your tool. You can do a little bit of sanding right here and just round it off maybe back a half inch if you go through small holes like this. We don't do that at the factory because we're not sure what everybody's going to be using the tool for. But it really won't affect the performance of your tool on other projects very much at all if you want to round that over just a little bit just on this corner right here. I've chosen to raise the tool rest a little bit and that gives me the clearance I need going into the mouth of the project here. So what that means too is when I try to cut center I gotta raise the handle up. So I'll do the first half of the goblet with the tool rest raised just a little bit and then when I go to do the second half I'll lower it back down on center. So right now we're a little bit above center. Oh, there I go, trying to cut center. even just drilling a little half inch hole helps you. No matter what tool you're using, use a, say a half inch drill bit, establish your depth, and that way you know when you've got the depth. Instead of every cut wondering, have I gone too far? You drill it once and you set it, and you know when you, you cut to that with your tool, you have to write that. The only thing I got to be mindful of in here is uh, what's called tool engagement. That just means if I've got the cutter in contact with the workpiece on too, in too much too much too wide a shaving, there's a lot of leverage going on there. They're on the way out from the chuck.